Då vill jag välkomna vår franska gäst från den franska organisationen Terre et Peuple, som blir jord och folk. Så ge en varm applåd för Jonathan Löckler. to thank the organizers of this meeting because I know it's hard and you have to to use a lot of money, of energy, of time to make this meeting and for me it's a success, so thank you. And now I'm very glad to find Swedish comrades and other comrades from Ukraine, from Italy and from Spain it's, uh, it's something very important for me. Thank you. So, uh, the next one, please. I just look at your papers. Um, about me, so I'm 36 years old, married with two beautiful children, and I'm working in Paris. Um, more interesting, terrible. So it's uh, what we will speak about today. And um, Telepop is not a political organization. So uh, we have in France a lot of organizations who do politics, so we support them, but it's not our way to work. Um, we chose another way and it's something uh, which needs um, silence because we have a lot of enemies and sometimes we are more efficient when we act and say nothing. So I shouldn't speak to you today because I will, <laughs> I will say uh, what we are doing. Uh, but. Um, I will present Terrepop. So, here is our boss, Pierre Vial. He founded uh, this organization about 20 years ago. Um, he was at the highest team in National Front. I, I think you know this party in France. And he, he began a new way to fight. Um, he is a specialist in the university, so someone who think a lot, but he is too an action man. So, my chance, I found something in Swedish, so I don't know what is written. <laughs> I just hope it's not our enemies who wrote that, so. Maybe, but I think it's right. <laughs> uh, for the next, it will be in English. So, our organization is in France, but in other countries too. Uh, for example, we have Telepop in Spain, in Italy, in Quebec, in Canada, in Switzerland, in Belgium. And as you can see, a few pictures of our bannier. It's the name for the local organization. Uh, each bannier is responsible for, um, for the activities. It's not an organization which is very centralized. Uh, in France, we, we have a lot of centralization, but not in Telepop. So we are driving in the same direction, but each local organization has to do the job. That's how we work. Uh, more about us. So, with this sentence, I think you can understand a lot of us. We are pagan and we are folkish. Um, there are some Christians in Terrebon, so we have no problem with them, but it's a little bit strange. Um, 
as you can see here, uh, Yule Tower, you know that <laughs> it's one of our comrades which, uh, who built that. And this book, which is um, the Pagan Fest during all the year, and we celebrate them. We can do that uh, in our family or with other comrades. We have um, a lot of public events. So uh, this this is uh, our round table, and this happens uh, every year. So I think you understand the the topic, and it's clear enough. Um, in 2012, we had no problem with uh, the local. So. It's not something very positive because the year before we had a lot of problems to keep uh, the place where we we should uh, make the conference because the topic was the lobbies and the photo was President Nicolas Sarkozy speaking at the Jew lobby and unfortunately we had a lot of problem to do this conference and. It's something very, something very positive for me because it means there are people who have a problem with that when we are saying the truth, just saying the truth. We have no gun, we have no military uh, actions, we just tell the truth. And the more we have problem, the more we are fighting. So. Uh, and we have these events, and that's an event which is open to everybody. So, if uh, someone of you would like to visit Paris, come in November or October, it's uh, a good uh, moment to have a good conference. And we have uh, some seagulls. Uh, it's uh, Sundays, Les Journées du Soleil in French, and uh, it's a moment with our families and the families from other comrades, and uh, it's a, a good uh, moment together. Our children can play together, and uh, we have training session, and the topics are story, or history, or origin, or even something like uh, Carl Gustav Jung is more uh, European analytical psychology, so <laughs> it's interesting. And we have a lot of work during these days, and it's always in a beautiful place in France. Uh, another event, uh, but it's not a public event, it's uh, l'Assemblée Communautaire, in which all the members are together and decided which, uh, which action to do in the next months, in the next year. Um, we do not speak about our values, we know them. We do not need to change them. We just have to keep them. So, what we are talking about is how to implement them in our life. It's something like that. And so, there are a lot of other events. I spoke about the national, national or international events, and we have a lot of fest in the local uh, banier. And uh, for example, the Hammerfest and uh, conference in Brussels, and uh, or this in Lorraine. So this funny pictures is about the um, nationalist movements in France. We are from the same village, we speak the same language, and we believe in the same gods, but we like to fight between us. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm happy to see that today we are together and there is no fight between us.
we have um, other organizations which are friends. For example, Les Editions de la Forêt, it means forest editions for the books. Um, so it's about um, religion. This one is uh, working in the pagan Europe. So you can see it's Germany, France, Greece, Scotland, uh, all the places which are holy for us. Okay. And there are other books. This one, for example, I'm sure our German friends uh, know, Gottfried Feder. It's a very old book and it was not easy, it was impossible to find it today in French. So, Les Editions de la Forêt uh, publish now this book. And with the new crisis, I think it's a, a good lecture to have. Uh, we have a magazine, so normally only the members are reading this magazine, but we found uh, on the internet some uh, critics from the Marxists, so I don't know how they, how they found it, but they speak about it and they write that it's a high quality magazine, so I hope it's true. <laughs> um, in this magazine, there is a main topic to think, and there is news, uh, there is what to do, what to read, what music to listen, and it's not only um, nationalist, it's more open to the culture, to our heritage in Europe. So, it's uh, only in French. Uh, but uh, we have an internet website, which is mainly uh, in French, and now we have an English editorial for the people who read English, so it can give you a good idea of what we are thinking. For example, this uh, editorial from Pierre Yal, he spoke about um, Barack Obama and how it works in the United States, and I think it will be the same things in Europe in a few years. Um, so, uh, actually we have a lot of problems with immigrants in France, and especially with Swedish immigrants. <laughs> it's a common joke in France. When the mass media speak about young people, Always we imagine uh, a guy, blonde hair, blue eyes, and it's always this type of guy who are the bad guys. <laughs> so, with my colleague, we speak about the problem of Swedish immigrants, but don't care about that. <laughs> um, about economy, we had the chance in France to have a, an economic Nobel Prize. So, uh, he's the only economic Nobel Prize from France. And there is a strange thing about this guy. Um, he was never invited by the mass media. No radio, no television, no magazine uh, gave him a chance to speak about economy. And uh, what's wrong? <laughs> um, he made something which could be strange for us. Um, he mixed um, a liberal vision of the world with a social vision of the world. And liberal is not capitalist, and social is not Marxist. And he's not a crazy guy. <laughs> and he proved that we have to do some things which are easy to do, but we, we, our politics needs five minutes of courage, <laughs> but they have, they have not this courage. So, uh, even when he died three years ago, nobody spoke about him in France, and our only economic Nobel Prize. 
So we, he's a great uh, inspiration for us because uh, what he said is for the future. It's not only the old solution, okay, he knows, he knew them, but he found a new solution for our world today. Terrible problem, and wow. <laughs> um, we see Europa as an empire, and so it means we have to see what happened outside Europe because it can change. It can change something inside Europe. For example, today in Mali, uh, there is the French army, uh, and this army fights against um, Al Qaeda. And what is funny is that people from Al Qaeda come from France. So <laughs> today, for example, last week there was a, a policeman, a French policeman, who was made prisoner because he, he fought for Al Qaeda, and this guy came from France. He was policeman in Grenoble, in the Alps. So now. <laughs> It's like a civil war, but in Africa. And uh, the position of Telepub about that is that uh, each people should have his homeland. And what we think is, as a word, it's today a part of Mali, is the land of the Tuareg, and <laughs> and. Uh, they should have the right to have their home, their homeland, to keep this uh, land in peace. Okay, and it's um, our vision because our ethnic vision is not only for only for European people; it's for all the peoples in the world. We are not. Um, Racist. We do not think that Africa is for Europeans. We do not think that uh, Asia is for Europeans. We think European have Europe and Asian have Asia and something like that. And our position, for example, uh, in Syria. So actually, there are French. <laughs> people who are fighting against the official army in Syria. These people are Muslim, of course. Um, it's not only a French problem. In uh, Belgium, for example, the newspaper uh, wrote that hundreds of uh, Muslim people from Antwerp uh, are going to fight in Syria. And these people will come back. <laughs> So uh, now Belgium asked, what will we do with these people? And uh, the question is still open, because they learn how to fight. It's easy for them to, to have guns and war guns, and they will come back. So uh, maybe it's a chance to open the eyes of Belgian people but the price could be very high. So, we'll see. Um, some stickers from Terrepop, so it's what I told you. Um, I translated this one, so I think everybody should agree with that. Even African people, even Asian people, even American people. Um, we are fighting for one land, one people. It's clear, it's easy, and it's what works in the world. <laughs> About Europe, um, our vision is more Euro Siberia, and so maybe we, we should uh, increase this logo. <laughs> uh, why? Just because there are white people here. It's the base of our idea. 
and um, <coughs> we do not speak about Eurasia because here you have Asian people and we think they should develop themselves by themselves and uh, we we are fighting for this Europe for all the white countries uh, in on this part. Um, this guy uh, is Jean Audry. He's a French specialist, maybe one uh, one uh, of the best in the world. Um, he works um, on Indo-Europeans uh, for maybe 40 years. And um, this book, for example, was a, a book from university, and it was a great success. But it was not possible to print it again. It seems it's something that is not political correct. And uh, so, Les Editions de la Forêt published this book now. And what we learn inside is that we have a great history, a very long history. Our history is not 2,000 years, it's more something like 30,000 years. So, when you know that, okay, today we have a problem with massive immigration, it's a 30s, 30 years problem. It's very short if you think about our history, 30,000 years. So, we have to keep that in mind because we, we should not be afraid about a problem uh, a sorty is a problem. It's very short and we have the time. So it's a lot of hope when you know your history and you know that there were a lot of defeats, of course, but we still win because we are still here today. So we still we will still fight and I think we will win. German-oriented uh, action, but uh, we signed this European action. And uh, it's what about restoration of freedom of speech? And today, I do not tell you all what I think. <laughs> and I think uh, our comrades before me and after me will not tell you all what they think because it's not a law and it's dangerous. So we have to be smart and uh, I'm sure you understand what I am thinking today. But we are fighting to this freedom of speech. And um, the withdrawal of all foreign troops, well, it's the uh, US troops, of course. We no need them in Europe today. And We saw the Soviet withdrawal 20 years ago, so it's possible. It was possible for the Soviet forces, it will be possible for the American forces. And the third point is repatriation of non European immigrants, because we cannot. We cannot say my fan club, sorry. <laughs> we cannot say just to stop the immigration. For example, in France there are more than 20% of people who are outside, who are coming outside Europe and they have a lot of children. So it means it will destroy our people. So first, we stop the immigration. Second step, they came back, they come back.
um, point five creation of European Confederation. So it means we have to destroy NATO and we have to destroy this European Union. We cannot make something with that. And we, we should think about a strategic agreement with Russia, because Russia is our neighbor. And we have to find a good agreement with them. And around six point is the transition of the monetary system. Um, so clearly it means the central bank have to be in the, in the hands of a govern of a public organization and not a stranger organization. And we should effectively control it. The last point is restoration of tradition. Here we speak about health, we speak about family, we speak about organic agriculture and all these points which are very uh, main topics for Europeans. So that, uh, that's a good program for us. Okay, so it was a, a really short presentation because, as I said, I'm not allowed to speak about all the details of what we do. Uh, it's a way to protect us, it's a way to protect our, our job. And uh, I think we need two things. Uh, a work as Telepub, which is uh, without publicity, and we need something like political party. And that's why I'm really happy to, to see now a nationalist movement, because this movement is uh, the light, and it will give hope, I'm sure, to the Swedish people. Thank you.